Assalamualaikum and welcome to another episode of uh, Zilfit TV. This is a special episode, a special vlog because I'm going to document the whole um, uh, process of the exhibition that we're going to be involved in beginning tomorrow uh, from the 29th of um, June all the way up to 2nd of July. Uh, the exhibition is called Architects and I think uh, over the last uh, one or two weeks I've been mentioning it in my social media. So today we're actually going to pack up all of our stuff. I've done some packing already and uh, what's left is just to bring up, bring down the uh, Prastera half right that we have upstairs plus the uh, um, uh, incline bench, right? Um, and then we're gonna actually put it, load it up into, onto the truck and then uh, make our way to the convention center. The main issue here is that we have the new um, uh, SVR insert, which I've never installed before, and uh, it's, it's not as uh, straightforward as the uh, previous one. But I have to say that it should be a lot, a lot easier to install because they actually broke the um, the actual wooden platform into half and uh, that makes it easier to transport, to carry and uh, to actually install, I, I, I would think. Um, but it is a, a new installation and which I will document in this vlog as well. On top of that, we have a lot of other accessories for the Prestera that we've bought but we have not actually used them because of all this uh, moving renovation. We, I actually have have had no chance to actually look at all these uh, attachments and uh, tomorrow or today uh, we will it will be my first time actually looking and and and, and uh, installing some of these attachments okay if i if i sound a bit frantic I, I i am because the last couple of days has been really really hectic we have a lot of uh, things that we need to do especially because um, I think last couple of days we actually brought up some equipment upstairs. The crane has, is completed finally, Alhamdulillah. It's stable, yeah, Inshallah, Alhamdulillah. So we brought up a lot of things. Uh, there are certain things as well that's still on, on the warehouse area, which we will probably bring up uh, when we bring back the Prestera from the exhibition. Okay, so today I'm just going to go upstairs right now and just to see how they're doing in terms of dismantling the pressure half rack and bringing them down. Another thing that uh, I want to share with you guys is, um, and uh, not too sure whether I've, I've shown this before in, in one of the blogs, but I actually have printed out the new Elico facilities catalog. And this is like, um, how am I supposed to do this, right? I'm just going to show you, look. So this is a 136 page catalog and um, I had them printed out myself. Yeah, so I have about probably 37 or 30, 36 copies left. Uh, they're, they're not cheap to print out. So, and then um, because this whole architects exhibition is out of my own pocket. Uh, so the, the, what do you call it, the rent, the, booth fees, um, the, uh, the catalogs, uh, all the transportation costs, ev all this, every single little cost that, that's connected to this uh, exhibition is out of my pocket. So basically it's out of uh, the company's um, um, account. Plus, I also bought a lot of equipment just specifically for this exhibition. So which means that on top of the, the fees that we had to pay for, for booth rental, uh, we've also had to uh, pay for all the new equipment like the SVR platform. So in, in terms of um, craziness, in terms of uh, the crazy things that I've done for, for this company, right? On a scale of zero to crazy, I, this is like super crazy. The amount of money that uh, I'm spending for this, it's, it's, a, it's a huge, huge gamble. And the reason that I want to do this is because I've tried several things before, like um, putting out Facebook ads, um, doing, you know, the, the uh, what do you call this, uh, the, those small, 
cards that I, I sent out uh, in, in like ten, the, ten, the seven, eight thousand cards that I sent out <laughs> to uh, all these affluent areas. Uh, the Instagram, the Facebook, none of them um, have managed to penetrate uh, this hotel and um, apartment condominiums market. All right, so Architects is mainly an architecturing exhibition. So what we're trying to do, or at least what, I'm, what I hope that we can achieve is that we can get all this context of all the developers that will be participating and how they will be coming to the exhibition. And um, we hope that we can, you know, with the, the equipment on display that they would think of us when they're designing the uh, gyms for all the hotels, condominiums, apartments. And that's the goal. And I'm, I'm, I don't have um, a very high expectation, uh, to be honest. However, I do have a target, which is just one developer or at least one hotel chain. And I think if we get that, all the investment that I've put in would would, would pay off, inshallah. I forgot to mention this, that we are partnering with F1 Recreation. So the idea behind that is that they have all the uh, cardio machines and all sorts of other machines that Eleko doesn't have. So I, I, th I thought that, you know, uh, what they have versus, uh, and versus what we have will complement each other. So in terms of proposing a full total solution to fit out any gyms, condos, hotels and whatnot, we should have uh, the whole solution. And uh, I'm really excited about this collaboration and also this exhibition. So this is gonna be the first exhibition out of my own pocket money, uh, company's money, uh, but I'll be representing Eleco in the exhibition. And I hope that this investment <laughs> will pay off, inshallah. As I've mentioned, uh, we brought up some of the stuff, equipment upstairs already. So all this are going to be installed once uh, I get back from the exhibition. As I mentioned, the crane is already completed and uh, we did a lot of work to get it it's very stable. I'm just going to show you a close-up look here. not pretty but it works okay so that's the most important part because we've done like I don't know eight ten trips already each about 200 kgs also and everything looks okay alhamdulillah okay let me show you what uh, we were bringing over um, at least the one that you can see anyway so I think I've shown you the press terra upstairs right so the Pressera half rack is something that I've already had for, uh, for the, since the beginning of the year, maybe, right? So that and the adjustable bench as well uh, with the PUR upholstery and that's very important because I don't think a lot of people have seen the PUR material and how it looks and feel. So that's important for me to showcase in my opinion. Uh, over here, this is the open deadlift bar. Uh, I actually sold the ones that uh, the one that I have previously uh, because that was uh, a, the original color which is charcoal gray this one is black and uh, moving forward we only have one option which is the black so that's why I want to bring this one this is brand new I obviously uh, here you can see this is the foam for the SVR insert for the Prestera half rack and if if I can direct your attention right here these two pieces of wood this is actually the platform and it's connected it's like a jigsaw puzzle it's like a yeah almost so dark can you see this uh is this called a ridge i'm not too sure so it connects to this particular cutout right here okay and um, i need light <laughs> so underneath the wooden platform oops right over here this is the rubber this is the dense rubber which is the uh, drop zone area of the SVR platform um, 
Inside here we have the new uh, kettlebell competition kettlebell with the new Adeco logo. I brought one uh, fixed Evo dumbbell, one uh, yeah yeah yeah, one rotating Evo dumbbell, uh, the Volcano this dumbbell uh, as well as the Volcano dumbbells. I'm not too sure whether uh, we are still selling the um, the Volcano dumbbells uh, anymore, uh, but I just br I, I just thought that it could be as a reference because it's uh, not made in Sweden. <laughs> the rest are so I just wanted to showcase that as well. And also, oh, we have several uh, fitness attachments. Sorry, yeah, fitness attachment for the Prestera. This one actually is a customization plate. This plate actually goes on top of the Prestera and uh, you can actually customize your own logo on it. And uh, this one just says Aleco. So I thought that would be brilliant because uh, because of the limited space that we have uh, in our booth. So you can see a lot of Aleco logos on the Prestera, on the bench, on, on everything, you know. So that's the idea. We also have a deep, deep, uh, deep module. We have the uh, like a, like a hook where you can hang uh, where you can hang the um, uh, what you call it the bands rubber bands and then uh, uh, by the way we're lowering down some of the equipment so this is the uh, adjustable bench that I was mentioning about and parts of the uh, Prestera half rack okay so and then uh, we have we also have. Uh, the uh, XF bar here, this is brand new because I saw all of my XF bars because they are quite old and uh, they were, you know, drowned in the flood. Uh, in here, you can see, maybe you can get a glimpse of the plates. So, what, what I'm doing is that I'm taking the new IWF training plates because those are brand new and those are colorful and I'm bringing uh, the 10 kgs of the grip plate XF bumpers, sport training, as, uh, as well as the IWS training. So, the idea is that uh, we wanna we wanna give them, we wanna give all those people that's gonna visit us a chance to see the different types of uh, plates that we have. Okay, and obviously we're gonna explain to them the differences and the usage of all, all these plates uh, during the exhibition. Okay, so we're also bringing the change plates as well. Apart from that, ah, let me think. Uh, I, I, th I think that's pretty much it, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, you know, initially I wanted to bring in the cable attachment, but uh, no, they were too expensive uh, uh, back then. Now, inshallah, I think some of you have seen it, seen it before. It's all over the uh, you know the Instagram and whatnot. It was on display at Ursa last week, and it was at Fibo as well. So it's not it's an open secret. But the cable attachment should be available soon and definitely we're going to get them if, if only, you know, funds are kind of limited nowadays. So if we do, you know, score a big deal uh, through this exhibition, definitely one cable attachment uh, is something that we, uh, we, we would like to have, okay? So right now, uh, I'm just going to help my friend, I mean, to unpack all this and then uh, start bringing all the, the press era. Uh, down. This is the reason why I bought the crane. Imagine carrying that up and down. But the problem is that you have to you have to stop it from hitting the wall. And that's the challenge, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. On a scale from zero to crazy, this is crazy. Okay. I think this is all right. Yeah. Okay, 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 they did it. <laughs> I'm here at the uh, convention center and um, behind me is our booth uh, which we are sharing with uh, F1 Recreation and uh, I can tell you this place is hectic. 
hectic. Like there are a lot of people around us. Everybody is just preparing their booths. And uh, I'm not too sure how the people are going to get things done by tonight because tomorrow is the event. And uh, our trucks, well, our truck is actually outside, still waiting to come inside. And uh, then we have to install. And apparently we have to leave this place by 10 o'clock. I'm not too sure everything. I'm not confident that things are going to be completed, but by hook or by crook, that's what we have to do. Okay, so my space, the Alico space, it's actually right here, so we're going to have the half rack and then the platform right there. Uh, uh, in, in this particular wall, on this particular wall, we'll have the dumbbell rack. So it's not a lot of space, but uh, this is all we can get. Because this ain't cheap, you know. So, I mean, looking at this space, uh, it's so much different than in the pictures, in the diagrams, right? In the diagrams, it looks so much bigger, but it's small. Uh, in any um, planning, there's bound to be some screw-ups and we've just found one screw-up. So, basically, the F1 Recreation logo was supposed to go, <laughs> was supposed to go on the wall. So, the, the, the sticker is supposed to be beneath it. But because they put the sticker too, uh, way up high, there's no room for the logo anymore. So now they have to put the logo on top of the lights, uh, above the lights. Mm -hmm. But you know, these things happen. All right, my staff is here. Uh, two boxes, that one and that one over there. Alhamdulillah, so now it's, uh, the hard work begins. Uh, but another <laughs> problem just happened. We were supposed to leave the crates, uh, the pallets with um, in the lorry of um, uh, Adam's lorry, uh, the F1 Recreations lorry. But I think the lorry has left, <laughs> so now we don't have place to put all these uh, pallets. But we'll figure something out. Okay, uh, Eliko actually gave us this uh, beach flag and uh, we didn't know it was that tall. Like it's really towering over everything else. And I'm not too sure whether it's allowed, but uh, we're just going to put it up while we install all the racks and whatnot. <clears throat> We've uh, installed the, uh, while well, we're installing the uh, Pressure half rack right now. Uh, another problem because because of the the barbell, right? So we have one extra bar here uh, because it sits on the the rack. So the rack cannot be centered against the backdrop wall over there. And so my OCD is like you know like uh, it's not centered and whatnot. So I'm discussing with Adam to see whether or not we want to take off the uh, the the sticker. Uh, I don't know yet. Maybe we just leave it on and uh, we, we will decide once we have everything in place. But um, that's how probably it's going to look like throughout the event uh, because we need to make space on the side uh, closer to that door over there. Who can guess what this is? Uh oh what the, what the heck did I buy? Okay guys, uh, we're not even done. It's already 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. And we just, uh, what do you call this? Um, attach the platform insert to the half rack. And this is a new in platform insert. Uh, the last insert is um, just one long piece of wood. And then uh, basically the, the insert and the, the half rack, they, they are not attached together. But this new one, everything is attached together so that you don't see any gaps between the rack and also the, the platform. But I can tell you, installing this is not easy. Uh, but well, we, got, we got it through. Uh, the only thing is that the, what surprises me is that it's, you know, it makes the rack a bit shaky. But once we have everything um, uh, installed, then I think uh, that this whole thing is not going to move because one giant piece of equipment, right? But let's see. Once we're done, maybe it's maybe it's okay. Oh man, look how sweaty I am. 
Man, these people need to switch on the aircon. This is like inhumane conditions. So it's already, what, 8... 8.30? No, it's 8.50. We're still here, we just finished installing the platform and the uh, double half rack. So now I think it's just the uh, dumbbell rack and the uh, uh, open deadlift bar. And then it's just putting all the weights on the, the rack and I think we can call it a day after that. But I'm sweating, I'm hungry, and these guys, oh, they are tort torturing us without all this icon switched on. Blech. Okay, it's 10.30 at night, and uh, we are done. My friend Amin there is helping me with the final touch, just making sure everything is clean uh, and ready for tomorrow morning. So let me just show you what we have. Now, the lot of things that I've learned today when installing the SVR insert and all the attachments. So some of the attachments do not go with the SVR insert. So you have to be mindful of that. Uh, for example, the um, the pin for. Oh god, I cannot do. I cannot remember for for band for band work, right? When you when you have to slot the pin underneath the um, one of the legs, so with the SVR in place, you cannot put the pin through the hole. So that has been rendered useless. <laughs> and then uh, I have this uh, bar storage holder, and uh, but I lost <laughs> the the nut and bolt. And uh, so I just kept it um, aside. And uh, the, <laughs> the thing is, I, I tried to put in as many attachments as I can, uh, just to show that you know the pressure is very flexible and it's um, it's uh, it's something that you can that takes a little bit of space, but it allows you to do uh, multiple types of workout, right? And we haven't even touched the cable attachment and once we have that you see that the true potential of this whole uh, Prestera ecosystem right and um, in any case uh, some of the other th things that I learned is that uh, it's, it's, it's probably wise for me to actually install one of uh, these things once uh, at least in the showroom because um, it's a lot of um, learning when um, we're here and then we're pressed for time uh, and that can be very frustrating and that's why it takes it took too long uh, in my opinion and then <laughs> the one thing that I was quite surprised of is that um, I don't know whether I've mentioned it but that particular plate on top of the pressera I thought it comes with the um, uh, Eleco logo etched on it but apparently there are two options when you purchase this one is with the logo one is without so if it's without you can then send it to uh, I don't know what the process is called where you can just engrave um, sandblast or whatever your own logo on those on, on the plate now I was expecting that that came with the Eleco logo but it didn't well it's not it was, there's nothing I can do about it. Maybe once this thing is done, uh, I'm gonna send it and put my Zilfit logo instead of Eleco. Uh, that should make it look uh, more customized to, to the showroom. And uh, so that when people come and visit the showroom, then they can see that, you know, this, this is the possibilities that they can do. Also, I, I think um, I should have brought more dumbbells because that looks so bare. I just wanted to show like, you know, that we have the Volcano Days dumbbell, we have the Volcano dumbbells, we have the Evo rotating dumbbells and also the fixed dumbbell, okay? And uh, another thing that I was pleasantly surprised with is the, the new kettlebells. Uh, the paint on this kettlebell is really, really nice. I mean, it's nothing that I've seen in the market before. Maybe there is, I'm just, I've just haven't seen enough, but it feels really good. The blue color is really nice. And uh, yeah, I, I just brought two because if I bring all the, the weight, it's just too much, too many things to carry, right? And even this, oh, I was just too, I don't know, it was too tiring. In any case, uh, also, 
we brought we bought and brought more attachments so the landmine is here uh, and then we have the god i can't remember what this is called the adjustable pull up handle or something like that i have this on my double, the old x double half rack and i bought one for the presera but we also have the straight pull up bar up there so i'm not too sure maybe i'll just buy another rack if let's say this thing is successful and i get to meet uh, all these developers and get to make sales and sales and make all this um, all this investment worth it okay so i think i've oh let me just show you our partner uh, for this architect exhibition and this is their section over here and you can see we have their treadmill <coughs> their rower and this rower has an interactive uh, screen and then uh, we have i think most of the uh, <laughs> since the uh, covid right uh, this little oh, this little bench right here by the way that's the gm of uh, f1 recreation we're going to interview him on this video as well uh, probably tomorrow and then we have this <laughs> i don't know what this is called uh, you guys know what it is you know so that's f1 recreation there so that's our booth and uh, i hope that a lot of people will come and visit us uh, tomorrow and throughout the exhibition inshallah